Hey all, uh, recently I tweeted, I'm starting this kind of tweet thing. I've never been into Twitter much or much socials to be honest. And I'm kind of doing these little bits of front end tips and tricks. So I'm starting with more or less the, the foundation. So HTML and CSS and whatnot, um, actually a little behind the scenes info of considering putting a course out for that coming up. So look for that soon. There'll be more details about it, but I just want to do a quick little plug there. Uh, but the idea here is to kind of just promote that in a sense, but also teach. So HTML and CSS are my first love when it comes to front end and development of any type. Uh, I eventually went on to WordPress and Rails and I'm kind of just kind of been going up the pipe since. So never want to stop learning. And this is just ways to kind of enable others to help learn as well. Because I, I wanted some of these guides when I was learning and some were just kind of not very intuitive. So. Uh, all that to say, recently put out a tweet about the details and summary elements in HTML, and they kind of have gone unknown as elements in my, at least in my time as a developer, um, used as a disclosure of details, of course, and summaries of those. So the summary itself is what displays in a fashion, and then within the details element is more content typically. And if you think of web components or UI components that you've seen in the wild, this really resembles an accordion. So if you're familiar with what, how an accordion works, that's kind of a show and hide uh, collapsing thing, though it's more of kind of like a drop down in, in essence. The accordion kind of shows one pane and then hides the other. And in this case, it kind of um, drops down one particular section of content. So let's do a real quick demo. So details is the main HTML element. And that is a summary element. You don't need a summary element, but I'd recommend one. And then within it, you can just have my summary text. And then we could just do more below and save that. So you notice the details hides all the content by default. Let's do this real quick. Body padding is like something like so. OK, cool. So now you can see it. So the idea here is it's kind of a toggling thing. So you can click on this entire row. It's a block level element and you'll see the text unfold below it. Um, a cool thing you can do is display it other custom HTML in here. So more or less the inline stuff like strong tags and whatnot, but some HTML isn't valid there. So you gotta watch out. But in this case, we can do that. I don't think we can do headings, but I could be surprised yeah, so we can, but it turns into a block element, so that kind of gets ugly, you know. But anyway, that's kind of what you can do with it. And of course, you can have more than one, and typically you'd write them in groups. So it'd be like so, so you'd have quite a few text uh, details and can just toggle and expand those at will. So one cool thing with these is there's a default state that you can add to this, the details itself that's called open. And when the page loads, it'll actually open that one by default first. And that's just kind of how it's going to work. Uh, you can actually target that with JavaScript too, which I'll do in a second. So we'll just put some margin. To rim just to give it some cushion there. And of course, styling them, you can do what you want. So the details element, it's a block level element. You might want to do like a border, pick solid, aqua or something. Uh, let's just do like a gray if I can type and maybe some padding so something like that I don't know what you would want to do maybe the summary inside of it you could do something different so maybe it's got a background color off-white you know so that's kind of just a signifier of I can toggle on that. So cool. So that's just a quick, you know, okay, cool. That's a neat element to have. It's a built-in accordion element kind of if you want it. Um, on the JavaScript front, you can toggle the details, add event listener, toggle, built-in toggle event on it, and then do some stuff under the hood, whatever you want to do. Maybe we could just do an alert just to make sure test um, so if we toggle one might need a query for details 
details is not fine. Yeah, so we could just say, let's get all the details. do that this sorry about this I'm making it kind of confusing I know but if I add detail in there and then have this round itself out should be set I think I have some uh, syntax issues so that's encasing that one we're going through each and just listening for a toggle event so if we click that we're still not getting it so what's up with the Oh, and you have to type things right. That might help. That's not working. Okay. That's not working. There we go. Okay. Now I just can't type guys. That's the main problem in most tutorials. Okay, cool. So when you click that each one, no matter which one is going to, you know, click and we'll get an alert. So that's kind of neat. And then if you saw on the docs, if it details dot open, it's another way you can do something. Maybe we could set, um, we could just set uh, detail, detail dot border, or let's say style dot border dot red, something like that. So that one's open. You notice it worked. So detail dot style dot border color equals uh, what's our default there? Seven 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 something like that. And we still need to type right. So this can kind of crummy code here, but you get the idea. So when we click open, it does the thing. It's red close. Ironically, it's like not erroring but it is working I guess we could just say that so if it's open we'll do that but then it stays that way which isn't ideal else I think I forgot to write else maybe that's why Ah, yep, I, I suck at everything, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, yay, tutorial. Um, but that's the gist of it. Um, so the border, as you can see, is toggling its state. It's some crappy JavaScript code, but you get the idea. So I just wanted to kind of show that one off. It's something I didn't really learn about until recently. Not very recently, but maybe within the past couple of years. Um, so I, th I thought that was neat. I actually put it to use in, um, at my day job recently on some help documentation of all things. I think it works fine. And the only caveat with all of this is that Internet Explorer does not support it, but you know, kind of shame on you for supporting Internet Explorer, Explorer sadly. But update your browsers, y'all, come on. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoy these. Uh, hopefully I won't stumble so much next time. Coming up, I'll do more tips and tricks on front end and primarily HTML and CSS to start, then we're kind of going to go more into the JavaScript world. I do have a bunch of JavaScript videos on my channel. I would recommend to check out if you're new here. Uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm going to add some more HTML and CSS stuff too, just to kind of get the design aspect alive and get those um, maybe newcomers to the world and in, into my channel and kind of just see if anyone's um, interested in that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hello HTML and CSS is my new course on HTML and CSS. It's, this is a more comprehensive guide of learning both languages and using them combined to make realistic websites that are professional and useful. Visit hellohtmlcss.com to learn more.